2009 inauguration day. The inaugural ball. They walked out. She had on that gorgeous white dress. Oh, what's the guy's name? Luther. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knocking on the Oval Office window, I would say. That was probably the peak of my entire existence. The moment when he picked me, I was so happy. I had to, like, I have to be the last question. Uh, before I answer your question, why don't you give me a little rep? Let's see. Let's see what you got. I was so emotional. I was crying. Thank you, President Obama, for coming to Vietnam. It's the first time in my life I felt like the White House belonged to everybody. And you really felt... You know, you felt those first three words of the Constitution, we the people. Like, it was one of those first times in my life that I felt like I was really part of that. When I was at the UN and I, you know, I heard our president say that climate change is the most important issue facing not only this generation, but all future generations. It was inspiring. I never cried before from election result. <laughs> I don't know, just the magic of that moment, of that man who we'd all been on this journey with, take that stage with his family, I was sitting at home in my living room and I felt like I was a part of that crowd in that park. I didn't think I would live to see an African American emerge as president, but he did. Obama came out and spoke for same sex marriage. Him showing his support towards um, trans separately from LGBT, from um, sexuality, just like go Obama. The most memorable Obama moment for me is when he said, eat your peas. Eat our peas. Which means just do it or get the most important things done first. The CVS experience with Michelle was pretty cool. And uh, dancing with uh, Barack at his birthday party. And he's a good dancer. You know, he should not get any flack for that. You're a good dancer. He's my. Jackie Robinson, everybody knows. To me, he would be a Jackie Robinson.